Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and today we're going to be painting this beta fish. Um, it should be uh, more of a beginner painting, maybe not out of the tutorials I've done that are beginners. This is probably a little harder than some of the other ones, but it's definitely going to be easier than um, like the squirrel that we did not too long ago. So, um, this is a 9x12 canvas panel. Um, the brand is Phoenix, and um, the supplies I'm using are going to be listed in the description, the colors and the brushes. Um, so, the colors that I'm using are titanium white, deep magenta, uh, this is cadmium red medium, cadmium orange, dioxazine purple, and Mars black. So you, if you don't have those exact ones, you can just use similar colors. And then I'm going to use a about a half inch angle, and then a three eighths inch angle, and then a small round for the small details like the eyes. And I already pre-sketched it um, just so that I can work a little faster, but I'm going to show you the drawing. So you kind of start by, I started marking the middle and then the fourth. So if you split it into fourths, then the end of the fin is kind of right, be right next to this fourth. And then the top is just going to be a little bit away from the uh, top and bottom on each side, but the peak of this fin is going to be slightly diagonal. So it's going kind of this way where the length is going to be. So if you make this straight, then it would be a little longer. So you want to kind of make it diagonal where the peak of those two are. And then I found the, where the face was by splitting it into fourths again, and then um, taking this fourth and splitting it to fourth this way. So it's kind of right in here. And I just kind of marked a little oval type shape around for the head. And the bottom is kind of got like a hump up and then out right here. And then it comes up and come, starts coming in and around and makes this kind of like, uh, it, this is kind of like where the body ends and the fins start coming out. And then this part of the head comes around and it gets pretty skinny because you're kind of seeing directly on top of him. So it's going to be pretty skinny here. And then you're just kind of going to curve it in and we're going to make that look better. It kind of, you know, you can see where this back is. And then by right below where that curve is, is where the other side of the body comes and meets up with what we had drawn there. And then for this fan part, if you did your three marks, then it should just kind of curve around to those two and then curve around and does like this hump out and then back in and then out and back up into the fish. And then it has like this little around and out thing right here. So that's how that bottom goes. And then this part comes out to about here. So it's out from the body and then comes in and meets up with it. And it's got this like curve and out. And I just kind of started by doing just one line and then kind of put in the ruffles and uh, things in there later so you really don't even have to mark these edges because 
you can just paint them in later, but I kind of marked a little indication of where I wanted that. And then the, there's like a, another fin or maybe it's part of this thing. You just can't see where it meets up, but it's kind of dark and it's just like this little teardrop almost shape that comes off. And then the fin actually may be smaller than I drew it. So it's, it's another teardrop and it comes up and out and back in like that. And then I guess it's either like a big fin or part of this, I'm not sure, but it looks like there's a spot that kind of comes off. So from the top of the head and meets up with the back of the body and then comes around. So past this area where the eye would be, comes around and comes back in right there. And then what I did is I drew kind of like an indication of the direction that the uh, fin, I don't really know what this part's called. These are really the fins, I think. This fan shape, um, I drew the direction that the lines are coming off. So here it kind of curves this way, here it curves this way, here it's kind of going out this way, and then it's coming down, down, and these kind of start coming out the opposite direction. So you can indicate the direction and things with your lines. And then this doesn't really even have lines. It's kind of just, I, I don't know exactly what you call that. It's like a different pattern. And then the eye, if you mark kind of like in the middle of this, if you kind of picture a circle here, you could even draw like a circle like right there. So you mark in the middle, it's going to be right below that, and you're just going to do an oval, and then do a curve, and this side of the curve is going to be lower than where this side is, and then you're going to do where the pupil is, and the other eye, you can it kind of comes off the head a little bit, and there's a oval there. And then it's going to be higher. So this eye is going to, it's still going to be in this eye, but it's not going to, you know, it's not even. It's going up some because of the slant of its head. And then it's kind of cut off. And the mouth is kind of down. And then there's like another part in here that does that. So that's the basic drawing and there's some spots back here but we're going to put paint over that. So I'm going to start by grabbing my angle brush and I'm going to wet it in my water and I think I'm going to start by taking some of this cadmium red medium and Maybe a little bit of white and some of this Cranacridone magenta. It's like there's, it's red, but there's kind of some other colors in here. So that's going to be kind of like in here. Actually a little more pink than that. And... I'm, I'm not doing the black first. You could do the black first, but you'd have to add a lot of white to pretty much all your colors um, because you're going to have to cover up that black and the colors we're using are not all opaque. There's a lot of transparent colors in here. So you would need to add a lot of white maybe even once or twice, and then go back with your bolder colors. 
And this color is not really the color I don't think that we're going to end up with, but I want something. I need to do my first coat. So once I get this down, I can start. I can just fill in the whole fish, maybe put in some of the background, and then I can work on the rest of the fish and do the finishing stuff. So really, I'm putting more pink in here at the moment. Um, it's, it's really got a lot of pink colors in here. And I've got to go kind of fast so that I can blend these two together. I kind of put a lighter and then just slightly darker. It's really not that different. You could probably use the same color. And so you can just kind of put all these different shapes in here. And you do have to go very fast with acrylic because if you don't, then it will start drying and then you kind of have to just let it uh, keep drying before you move on or else it'll lift off. So it can probably, it'll probably take a little bit to get all these spikes in here, but we just need to be patient with it. We don't want to go too fast and make, you know, any mistakes. But you also don't want to be like so concerned about getting it just right that you suck the fun out of it. So you kind of have to find the right balance of not being too fast, but making sure you're still enjoying it. So I just recently made a Facebook group where you can put um, your paintings that you've done for my tutorials on there and so you can share them with me. I would really love to see um, what you've done from my tutorial and I'm also going to have polls in there um, in the future for um, when I'm making the schedule for what I paint on YouTube. I'll have that in there. So I'm just going to kind of stop right in this area because that's kind of when it starts doing some weird funky thing. I don't know exactly what it's doing, but I'm, so I'm going to go back here. This part's like already dry. You may want to add glazing medium to it. That'll help. Um, your paint to stay moist longer and then you can spend more time blending. Just don't add too much of it because if you add too much then it will make it transparent which is great for doing glazes and things but you don't want that for this kind of painting. So there's like this weird hole here in him. I don't know if it's actually a hole or if it's like two spikes that are kind of just together and it looks like that. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like in the picture. So I'm just following the picture. 
And here it starts getting darker, so I'm going to add some purple to it. Not a lot, but enough that will darken it up. edges that don't really have any spikes, I'm letting the bristles of the brush kind of make some odd different shapes. May actually not, that may not even show up once we put the black on it. I don't really do it very often where I put the main thing in first and then put the black. I just don't tend to do that often. So I'm putting some more purple in here, maybe with some of the red and more of the pink, so just to get it a lot darker. So I don't, I'm not really as familiar with doing it this way, but I do know that it'll help the fish to be brighter by not putting the black first, so. I know I'm only just a few minutes into it, but this one's already really fun. I mean, the colors and the subjects, I don't do a whole lot of fish. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, but I don't even think I've ever done a fish before. I, if I have, I'm just not remembering because it, I, I, I can't think of any time that I've painted a fish before, especially not a beta. I know for sure I haven't ever painted a beta. And if you do go out a little farther than you want, then it's it's okay because you can just kind of push it back when you get to the black part. And all up against this tail is pretty dark, so there's actually, it's like reddish and then gets back to the dark, so I might just put some red in here and then go back with the purple and I'm going to kind of go in to his body some because it's, it doesn't really cut off like that. I just drew that because it's simpler to draw it that way, but it kind of slowly just fans out into the fan part. It's like this really dark area right in here. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have um, other painting tutorials for beginners and some that are a little harder for those that have been painting a while or you know if you just like to watch someone else paint you can do that too especially if I don't feel like painting but I want to you know I want to watch someone I like going on YouTube and watching other people so I'm just going to put this red all in here. I'm not going to worry too much about color and things. I'm just going to put it on. Because there's lots of like lights and darks all in here.
so I'm just trying to be careful. There's kind of like these spikes, but they're longer. Like there's certain places that there's like a lot of spikes together and then there's this point that's kind of, it dips and then spikes just every once in a while. And then near this end, it kind of has a few humps in here. And then there's kind of like hump down and out. And then a little hump right in there. And then there's another spot that kind of makes this hole. Okay, and then I'm going to rinse my brush out of that so I can get the lighter again for the body. It's, it's so bright, like up against the white, it's so bright. So up against the black, it's really gonna, it's really gonna be bright. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna get some of the orange and some of the white and pink and then a little of the red. So it's like a light peach color. It's different than anything we've used so far. Maybe a little more pink than that. Give it a little more peach color. And it's just kind of like right there on the top of his head. And then it starts getting red. So like up in here, red, and it kind of, it's kind of red right in here, and then it kind of carries on in to this back part just a little bit. And then it starts turning darker, so I'm going to get this dark that we had earlier and start putting some in there. Because the, uh, because the color is so transparent, we're going to have to go over it a few times, so. If you just don't be discouraged if you think that this looks really ugly and then it's super see-through because mine is super see-through too so it's it's just the way that it's gonna be at the moment you just can't help it you could use like a more opaque red and you know if there's colors you find that are like the same or similar color but it's opaque then you could use that and probably speed it up but I don't have, you know, opaque colors, so I'm just using what I have. So now I'm getting pretty dark purple. So this is, the purple is pretty much our, like, shadow color. And I'm going to put that in with the tail. and put it in here like that and then there's some purplish colors 
against the, the side of the face. I'm just going to go over this mouth right now, since we're going to put the details in later. Okay, and then I'm going to take this red put in the fin thing over here. I don't know what it is exactly, if it's part of the fan or the fin. It's just a little shape in there. And then the fin, I may wait to do that until I put the black because it's kind of fanning out into the black. So I'm just going to kind of wait for that one. And I'm going to put this dark for the thin over here. There we go. And then I'm going to get the purple straight and put in this dark area in here. Okay, so I'm going to rinse my brush out and take my small brush to start on the eyes. So I'm going to rinse my brush out and take the small brush and I'm going to get this red straight and put it on the top right there and then this lighter color for the top on this side and then I'm going to get that dark red for underneath that and just blend it in it's kind of a little bigger than I wanted it to be so I'm just putting that back and then there's black in here. And there's like just curve it out slightly and then this side you want to fill it in just a little bit of the ways you don't want to fill in the whole thing so just go down a little bit on this side I'm going to take my white with some of this peach color and put that in. It's kind of turning it gray, but that's okay because it's just the first layer. So now I'm rinsing my brush out and I'm going to do the black. So I'm going to take my angle brush and just get that black and 
start laying it in. And I got the angle brush. It's kind of a small, you probably think it's a small brush for this because it's, you know, there's such big spaces that we need to cover. But I picked it because it's got a point at the end and because it's just a little smaller than what we would normally use, um, I can get into these crevices. So I'm going to just lay it in until I get there and then actually I think I might flip it around so that I can get into those areas. I'm being careful not to go too far over. Probably what takes the most time is this part um, where you have to make the little bumps and um, go around it. But we're just going to have to go around with this black and then it should be, it shouldn't be so hard. I think after we do this, the uh, most time suckers will be gone. So the we have a fish tank and it doesn't have these fish in it but there we only have two in like a 40 40 gallon tank because we hadn't been getting new ones because the light went out and they kept dying and so we finally were able to get another light and we're hopefully going to get some more fish soon but it's like they're so much prettier in the light <laughs> it's like you don't really get to enjoy them well unless you have the light and then when you see the color they're like whoa they've been there the whole time they just haven't been as pretty when they're when you can't see them <laughs> And they used to have babies all the time, and they were so cute. They're like guppies and mollies and things in there. And I think the mollies had babies a lot, and the guppies had them a few times. But I think these fish would probably be a lot harder to take care of. I don't know, maybe not, but... I know you have to have them in a different tank so you could only have one. But I mean, they're so pretty. I probably wouldn't mind having the just one when it's this. I love the fans that they have and they come in so many different colors. There's like, I've seen blue ones and green ones and probably pretty much every color they've got in this kind of fish. It's just kind of sad when you go to the store and they're in those like little small containers and I know they do that because you do have to keep them separate so it's not like they can keep them in a big tank with other fish like they can with the others but it's still sad because some of them it's like they look so sick like they're just about to die and it's like I wish they could give them a bit bigger tank. And you're, you want to add some water to your paint um, if it's not really wanting to come off um, well. You can add water so that it'll flow better. And I may not do this on the... Oh, see, I got some black on there. I'm going to try not to get black on the red because it could be kind of hard to cover over later. But um, I may do this later, not on the camera. 
Um, but it seems like I can kind of see the canvas a little bit in certain areas. So you can uh, go over a second time if you want to, and then you will not have those areas that are where you can see the canvas. I don't like being able to see the canvas at any point. But I may do, I may just leave the black this way on the video and go back after and put some so that I can cover it up. I'm not, I'm not sure. It wouldn't, it wouldn't take as long the second time because you don't have to like cover every inch. You just have to get those areas that you don't like better. Uh, you can see through. So I'm gonna get some water because it's not wanting to come off as fast as I want it to. It's kind of being slow about coming off the brush there. And this area over here is going to be pretty fast once we get those fins in. We don't have to worry about covering the fins up. You could probably, instead of going um, like I am with it and kind of doing the you know, the part that's just solid and the part up against the fin at the same time, you could maybe do what's up against the fin, you know, just kind of make the rim, and then you could go fast with the rest of it. And I'm running out of black, so I'm gonna have to put that back. And I'm tapping up against it so that the next layer I do will uh, still look ruffled, hopefully. <laughs> and see how it kind of got into the, if you can see that, it kind of got into the fin just a little bit. But it's okay because they're so, you know, frilly and wavy anyway that it kind of, it doesn't matter. I can just keep it that way. So I'm going to get more black here since I'm running out. And I have in the description that the brands are Liquitex Basics and Artist Loft, and I have that because they most do, but I do have the my black and my uh, mixing white. I don't know that I've used mixing white on a tutorial yet. I think I may have, but those two are uh, in the Winston Newton. Winston Newton? I can't say that. I don't think it's very, I don't think that's right, but... Uh, it's a different brand, I just don't put it in the, the description because it's simpler to list them all the same brand. I just, I think I just got these in those brands because I couldn't find them in the other two, so. But you can use whatever brand and quality you like to use. I think I'm going to flip it around again so that I can get in here. If you're left-handed, you would probably want to keep it that way, the, the right side up. I just don't want to have to be doing like this. <laughs> that kind of makes it uh, harder to do. So.
Okay, so once we get this in, it'll move faster. You see, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see there's some areas that there's like some white in between there. And that's fine. You just, the next time you go over with your red, make sure you cover over those spots. So I'm going to cover this whole black up. And I'm making sure to get those white dots from the canvas texture out. So he kind of looks cool just like that. I mean, it's obviously not finished, but he looks really cool. I like it. It's like you, you get to that point of the painting that even though you got a lot to do on it, sometimes you can just tell you're going to like it. So I'm rinsing my brush out and even if you're not using your brush, you want to make sure that it stays wet so that you don't have to, if it dries, the paint dries in there, then you kind of can't do anything about it. So um, I'm going to get my 3 8 inch angle brush now and I think I'm gonna get the glazing medium. I have golden gloss glazing liquid um, so this is just going to help with dry time so it'll slow down the drawing for me so that I can blend and I'm going to take the red and the pink, got more pink than I do red. And I'm gonna add some white to it. And I'm gonna add some glazing medium. And put that right there. I need a little bit more white, it's a little lighter than that. So it's kind of like a pink color, really. And I think using all these different colors kind of makes the painting more cool. You know, you think it's a red fish, so it's gonna just be red and black maybe for like the shadow. But using these like pinks and oranges and purples really kind of make the painting more interesting and have more depth to it, I think. So you really want to look, you know, if you think something's red or you think something's blue or you think something's green, you want to keep looking at it just to make sure you don't see any other colors in there because sometimes there just might be something else. Even in white, if you look at white, it's not all white. It's got blues and yellows and things in there. Okay, so I'm going close to that black, but I'm not going into it yet because it is still wet. So I'm trying not to touch the black too much. And then I'm going to, let's see. I guess first what I want to do is just make the transition of light to dark and then later I can go back and do another layer and make it make the ruffles in there. So I'm getting the same two colors that I had earlier, the pink and the red, just without the white. And putting that into, I need to get some of that glazing liquid so it stays wet longer. And kind of just pulling it into that pink. And maybe put some on this other side. So you can like do some stripes of it to kind of indicate that 
that uh, ruffle effect. I'm not doing the ruffles yet, but it'll kind of help to have some streaks in here. And then down here, it's not as pink, or it's not as light colored. It's got the darker in it already. And I may add a little bit of the purple now to start darkening it. But keep those other two colors in there. So I just want to get a dark reddish color. put some in here and then it's pretty purple and dark so I'm gonna get some purple with some of that red to tint it and water so that it won't be so stiff on there and I can move it around easier And I'm going to put that on here. Went over a little too far and I could see it, so. If you want to kind of change the edge now at this point, you would kind of do like a really, really light color, like white with just a little bit of red, just so it's not white white and go around the edges that would probably make it um, to where you can go over with these other colors later and it'll show up as part of the fish. So it's drying already. It dries so fast, acrylics dry so fast. And I'm going up against the fish here. And I may go into it just a little bit, that, to kind of put in that. Actually, I might just keep going on this, just keep it going because this part is kind of like a whole another section. I mean, it's together, but it, it's kind of separated by this dark. So I'm going to kind of get mm, some of what's out of there. It's still got some of that color in it, but we're using basically the same color, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to get that orange again. And get the white with the pink and my colors are kind of like uh, they're drying on the palette so I just spray them with my spray bottle to keep them wet And I'm going to go and put that highlight on there and then take some of the reddish pink. Adding that pink to that red really darkens it because it's kind of like a orangey red and then when you add the other color then it really darkens it up. Okay, and then I'm going to get this purple and put that in.
And it's still kind of making a, you know, you can still tell where your brush strokes are, but the more layers you put, the less you'll be able to see that. And I'm going to get more purple, put it in there. And then I may take some of this peach and put that in and just see just a little bit of color and then go back with the dark. We're still just kind of filling in the color we see. We're not doing the detail yet. And then I'll go back with the, uh, this dark, put this in. Actually, it's a lot darker than that, but, and then there's some of this pink in here. going in the grooves and putting this lighter in and then I'm going to take that red and pink And it's mainly this color. I just wanted to have that other in there too because there is some lighter in there. And just filling it in. Put some down here. And then there is some dark pockets. I have color in here. not really good to define it a lot. I'm just putting in there. Okay, so we pretty much got the second layer in. I'm getting tied up with my tongue. Um, we do have to do the eye though. So I'm gonna get my other brush for that. Rinse this out. So I'm getting the small round brush and get some of this light pink with the orange and put that cover better. Add the white to help it to cover. And then get the red. And just by putting the light color there, it will help us um, because it will uh, 
cover over what's there. And I'm going to get the white for this. part in here and I'll get that black and just put it back over where that's supposed to be. And then this side I'll put lighter so that that'll cover better and then take the black And there's like a light pinkish, orangish on the outside. And I'll take that black and go over it. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, since it's the background with the black is kind of see-through, I'm just going to cut it off real quick and do the background a second coat because I know it takes a long time. So I'm going to cut that part out and come back. Okay, so now I have painted the background a second time. So now I cannot see the impurities. And I'm happy about that. Um, now I think I'm going to get my angle brush again. I didn't fill that hole in this time. I need to do that so it was just the plain purple because it's pretty dark in there and it's kind of coming out of bright purple so I may have to uh, do it black later but um, so I'm going to try to put in my details so I'll get I'll pretty much do what I've been doing second time. So get some of that orange this time and some of the glazing medium. And it's okay if it's streaky. You want it to be streaky this time. Okay, and then I'm going to get my mixture of red, the uh, cadmium red medium, and deep magenta, or cranacridone magenta. It's pretty similar. It's just the brand I use. They call it deep magenta. I'm just going to start here and just kind of streak it in. And that black is wanting to come in again. If only you could tell the paint to stop. Like, don't do that. And then it listens. That would be like, <laughs> that would make it a whole lot easier. But, of course, that wouldn't really mean that we were that great of an artist because the paint would just tell it to do whatever we told it to do. And I'm trying to quickly go... on all sides and streak this in before it dries because it is drying fast. And I'm going to get some white and put it in that corner because it was, black was coming into it. So we'll probably go over that again, but. Okay, and then I want some purple and some of the pink and the red. So it 
it's this like dark reddish purple color. And I'm going to flick that in and put some, like flick it in first and then I'm going to put some streaks in the directions that I see the ends going. I'm putting this dark, well, make it look like uh, it's like, you know, it's going to be some dark and then some light color on top. So later I'll go back with a lighter color and kind of put it up right above it so that it looks like highlight. But you need this darker. And then I'm just going to kind of start filling in with this because it kind of just turns into this dark. And then all of the shadows or the ruffles and things, when we do this kind of thing, it would be darker. Got some in the black, so I'm just trying to get that out. And now I'm really making sure, like, if there's any um, white areas on the outside or even in this middle, I'm really making sure that I get them because this could be the final step. So now I'm just mixing the cadmium red medium and dioxazine purple without the magenta. And it's made it a little darker. And there's just these pockets of dark. In, in certain areas. And then I'm going to get the black with some of the purple just so that it's not like pure black and I might add some of the red I don't know that might not really do anything but it might get that reddish undertone to it and then start putting the super super dark in here and there's like a Spot that comes down and it's really dark shadow. put that and then go back with my purple and put some so it's not suddenly super dark and put some in here and then this 
this would probably be the color that this fin would be. It's kind of pushed back in the shadow. Okay, and then I'm going to take this color and start it from its tail. And I may take some of this like dark red and kind of blend it together so that it's not suddenly that dark. And then there's some of this in this crevice here. It's like this dark patch. And there's some, there are some dark, like really, really dark areas in here. So we're seeing like ruffles even back in here. So we push that in some, but I'm going to take some of this red and put some like lighter color because there is still some areas we can see that red. And then I'm going to take this really dark Put that in here so we can still see the fishy has red right here and then it kind of turns pretty quickly to a brighter color so this pink red that we've been using for like the majority of him is what that's going to be. And then I'm just going to put in where the rest of that red is going to be since I got it on my brush already. And I'm going to lighten it just a little here so that I can, I'll have it, there is some black there that needed covering. And we'll have that covered. And then there's this pinkish orange. So I'm going to add some orange to this. And you don't be afraid to like make it a, you know, different color than what you've been doing. And then we'll take this dark and put it in here so it's got some purple in it but we don't want it like this dark it's like got the black we don't want any black in here because well there is some like right in here in the mouth area and maybe some back here, but you don't want to put so much that you can't like see the face anymore. You want to be able to see the face. And there's is a little bit kind of like around the eye area. Okay. It's still kind of blending out, so I'm going to just like 
make sure you can see there is some depth in the base. Okay, and then this fin, it's got some dark, and then there's like this really, really dark. So it kind of almost like blends in with what's back there. You really can't see this fin as well as you can like these other ones. And I really need to uh, get that uh, other fin in so that I can be putting the red on top. Uh, there's some light, light, lighter colors, so I'm just going to kind of put in these little stripes in there. There are some that go all the way. don't want to... My water is all purple now. It's funny that whenever I go to uh, get, there was one time that I had my drinking water um, on the table with while I was painting, and I almost like dipped my brush in my drinking water, <laughs> so I stopped doing that. got some white in there so I'm rinsing my brush out so I can not have that white in it. I'm just trying to get the body, the top of the head and everything the right shape. Okay, and then I'm going to take some more of that light color and dab in there. So you can see that there is a fin there. And there is like some bright red over this way, so. Okay, and then I'm going to take the white with some red and put in the fin that that is over this way. It's got like places in there that you can see through. And I'm doing it so light right now because it wouldn't be able to, the red wouldn't be able to cover over this black, so. 
and you need to have those in between those real fine in between spots so I covered over this part with the black earlier it looks pretty good I'm really liking it he's so bright I mean he's you know dark in here but the bright parts because it the rest of the background and the shadows are so dark, he really stands out. So I think I'm going to take some of this light color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some light streaks. And they're not going to stay this color. But I'm putting them in really light. And then when I go back, I'll go over with glazing medium and glaze over them. And it'll change into red. And I'll put some in this dark so that I can put a darker glaze on those and they will kind of, it'll be the same technique, but it'll be darker. So I'm putting some in there that I'll glaze over. Now I need to work because I haven't done any of the finishing details with that. Let me get this dark black and there's some spots in here that are kind of popping up here. So, and then I'm going to put this dark in this area that you can't see. And then I'm going to take that light color and go back over him again. I'm trying to get this covered over. I went too far into the I kind of went farther than I went the first few times, so I'm covering over. Okay, and then this part we're going to do pretty much the same thing as over this way. So, I've got this like rag sticking in my paint here. Uh, so the pink and white and red, the uh, deep magenta and uh, cadmium red and white. And I'm going to put some of that here. There's some light here. And just any spot that I see lighter color. I'm going to put this light orangey color here. And there's a lot of it up against this side. And then I'll get this red. I had some pink in there, so I ran out of pink, so. Some of that and just go and make streaks in there And putting it all up in here. 
Okay, and then taking some of the red and purple. Oof, that was a lot of purple. Too much. <laughs> and I'm going to spray again so that it won't dry out. And there are these areas in here that are dark. And get the glazing medium with it so it'll stay dry longer. Or wet longer, I mean, <laughs> dry longer. I always say the like opposite thing that I mean. I don't. I mean, not really even that much just in general, but like while I'm doing the video, I always see the opposite of what I'm trying to say. It's like really weird. I don't know why. And there's like these patterns in here that are. Interesting, I don't know. The tails are kind of flowing and it's it's a very interesting thing going on here. I don't it's different than all the rest of the painting or the picture. I mean it's it's totally different. And I'm going to get this light color, and there's this part that comes out from one of these fins in here. It's really weird. It just kind of pops out of nowhere. And... I'm going to get some of the dark and put it under here. I would say in here is probably the hardest part. You could just carry it on and do the rest like you've been doing here and that would make it a lot easier, but I'm just doing what the picture looks like. I'm going to put some more of this to cover up, put that in there. Sandy. Sorry, that's my dog. She's growling. Okay, and I am looking at it and I think I want to push it back a little bit here. Don't want it that big. Okay. And then the highlight areas in this fin part. Do that. And then I want these dark areas not to be so just out there. I want it to be blended more into the painting. And what I say is I don't always um, I don't always uh, try to do exactly what the picture does. I mean, 
I do the colors and the shapes and I try to get it, you know, as close as I can. But if it's to the point where I think, you know, my skill level is, sorry about that, that was my dog. <laughs> if I get to the point where I think my skill level just wouldn't really allow me to be able to do that, if I just think it would take me like an hour to figure out how to do it, then I just kind of just, I just do the best I can and try, you know, I'll get better and eventually I would be able to accomplish that. But I have, I really haven't been painting for very long. I just kind of feel like I picked up on it kind of fast. I guess that's just kind of what came naturally to me, the skill that came naturally to me was painting. But I've been, it's like I've been doing it long enough, I know a lot of techniques and how to do things, but if there's something I don't think I can do, I just wait until I just do as good as I can do. And I think that this is going to be pretty good. I, I'm not really very worried about it. Okay. Um, there's those like uh, little patterns up here. Okay, and then in here is pretty dark. And then there's some dark coming up from like the back here. And there's this streak that comes up. That's pretty dark. I have to hurry because we have we have people coming over tonight and I need to be like, I need to have this all cleaned up by the time they get here, so I'm trying to kind of hurry up, hurry this up. Okay, so I think it's pretty good. I'm going to go over this, the back of him again. That orangey salmon color. Okay, and then I'm going to put this in. little bit more there okay so now what I want to do is take my glazing medium and the red and so it's gonna be very thin and maybe some of the pink so it's not super red and go over these light areas since it's thin you don't have to really worry about it changing the color of what's there. It's just changing these lighter stripes and things to that color. And then the darker, I'm going to take this dark color and add the glazing medium. But 
put that in and put it in. Let's see, that one actually has some more of the lighter in there. And then this is bright red. And I'm not I'm not really gonna use glazing medium with that. I'm just gonna put it on solid. And then take this dark where it's attached. You may need this super dark for it to show up and just kind of blend it in. So it doesn't look like it's just next to it. It looks like it's actually attached there. And I may take some of this purple and go up against the side of the body to darken it more. And then there's, we're gonna take the red and there's like some lighter colors in here and maybe some of this lighter so you can see it Okay, so I think the mouth is pretty good. Well, let me see. I need, I could do a little bit more in there. So I'm just remaking this dark color and just adjusting it uh, the way that I tell I like it, basically. Okay, I think it's pretty good. So now I'm going to glaze this up here. and then glaze this area. You may even take some straight red once it's see-through. It's transparent, so you'll see through it. And then take some of this light color and just go on the tip where it's lighter and then cover that up more. I'm going to work on the eye a little bit, the eyes, and should be pretty good. So I'm going to get the red straight that here and then get this super dark and mix those together and then get some red and there's some around this white but in the middle it is like pure white so Maybe just with like a little bit of like red or something in there, but it's pretty light. And then put some right on the side, maybe with some of this light color. And then this dark. And 
and then you get the really, really dark to go on this side. Look, I'm not picking up any. It's dry, I guess. Go on this side and blend it. Get the red. And then this color, there is some of that color in there. And then I'm going to get the black. And put it in on both sides. Just for the final... Final black. I'm trying to blend it in with what I have here already. Okay. And then maybe get some of that orange and go right where that edge of the eye is. And then finish off with dark. Okay. I'm just going to look at it. I need to glaze the top of the head. So I'm going to get orange and some pink and some white. Got a peachy color. More of an orangey peachy though. And then glaze with it. Of course it's already pretty light from the orange, but and then for the absolute final See, there's some of this up here. For the final touch, we'll do uh, some spots. So I'm going to get my smallest brush with the white and just mix it in here with these other colors that I've got and some orange. It's pretty light, but you don't want it to be super bright. And you want to put a row of dots along his back here. You don't want to make them too bright. You kind of stop as they get into here. I mean, you can barely see them, but just maybe put a little indication of spots in here. But you can really see the like roundness of them up here. And then what I'm going to do is, actually there's a few of them on his head right here. And maybe some back in here. Okay, and because I don't want them to be, it's like they're already so small, they're already dry. So I'm just going to tap. And 
I got too much water in my brush when I did that. I'm just going to tap on these middle ones that are brighter. And then I'm going to take this red on these further ones and blend them out. And then I'm going on the top of the, on the top of him. And then I'll do some of the brighter red. Okay. And I may just kind of take some of the glazing liquid and go over a few of them just to push them back a little bit. Okay, so I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to sign it with my fabric pastel Hit Artist Pen. And I'm going to like tap it on here just to get the ink flowing. And you want to go like a finger's width above the bottom so that you don't uh, cut it off when you frame it. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was really, really fun. I mean, probably one of the funnest ones I've done on YouTube, really. Um... Maybe because I, I may have found like one of my new favorite things to paint. I don't know, fish, maybe. Um, so this is the schedule I have out. Um, so this is the fish that we just did. And so these before it are all out. We just have the lake and the horse. I'm going to change the horse a little bit, or the vines and things, because it got some funny looking trees in there. But anyway, um, so next week is the lake. And um, then I already have the April schedule out. I think I printed it when I printed that schedule. So I already have that done. But I won't show you until we get there. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And will like and subscribe to my channel where I have other painting tutorials like this one. And I really hope you try this. You can share it with me on my Facebook group, Powers Paint and Post, so uh, I can see it. And I would really love to see, you know, your interpretation of this. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.